Hello, I'm Charles Vega and I'm a clinical professor in the Department of Family Medicine at the University of California Irvine School of Medicine in Irvine, California. Today, I'd like to discuss why it's critical for healthcare providers to talk to their patients about over-the-counter medications, especially analgesics. Consider this case. Mrs. Smith comes in for a clinical visit with 15 prescription medications to manage multiple chronic conditions. Although she reports that these are the only medications that she is currently taking, I discover that she also takes naproxen, ibuprofen, acetaminophen, ibuprofen diphenhydramine, and acetaminophen hydrocodone, which was prescribed for her by another provider. She doesn't consider these as medicine because I didn't prescribe them and she doesn't take them every day. What she doesn't realize is that, with her heart failure, chronic renal failure, history of stroke, and use of multiple medications with the same active ingredients, some of these medications might have been putting her health at risk. OTC analgesics play an important role in improving patients' well-being. They are generally effective and inexpensive, as well as safe when used correctly. However, they are sometimes overlooked by patients and by healthcare providers when prescribing treatment plans. Providers should be asking their patients about all of the OTC medications they are taking in addition to their prescription medications in order to provide appropriate guidance based on each patient's health history or risk-benefit profile. Not knowing can lead to serious consequences. Confusion around the safe use of OTC analgesics can play a big role in patients taking medication that is inappropriate for them or using medication in inappropriate ways. That's why it is so important for healthcare providers to talk to their patients about the OTC medications that they are taking, whether these medications are scheduled or not. For patients with an elevated risk of gastrointestinal, cardiovascular, and renal complications, healthcare professionals should use caution when recommending non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. It has been suggested that taking NSAIDs for longer than three months has been associated with gastric ulceration rates between 15% and 35%. When taken regularly, NSAIDs can also elevate a patient's cardiovascular risk, and this risk can be even greater for patients with known cardiovascular disease. Similarly, it is important to be aware of hepatic risk factors when recommending acetaminophen to a patient. Acetaminophen hepatotoxicity is still the most common cause of acute liver failure in the U.S. Many patients with acetaminophen toxicity were not aware that they were misusing their medication. Educating patients on the many medications that contain acetaminophen, as well as the appropriate maximum daily dose, is a key step in ensuring that patients use this medication appropriately. The healthcare system needs to recognize that OTC medications are ubiquitous, and it is critical that providers assess them when performing a medication reconciliation. A thorough reconciliation, as well as integrated health information systems, can help multiple members of the patient's healthcare team to share information and counsel patients on the best choice of medications. The topic of OTC medications can seem mundane until we consider the scope and impact that these drugs have on patients' everyday lives. It is more important than ever for healthcare providers to communicate with their patients about OTC medications they are taking in addition to their prescribed treatment plans. With enhanced patient communication and education around OTC analgesics, providers can help patients manage their pain both effectively and safely.